And welcome to Paul's Spare Time. This is take two. Oh boy. This will serve as a live stream announcement and a comment video for the two boxes of mom and pop penny boxes we will hunt this Sunday on March 21st. That's right. One box is good. Two boxes is crazy. And this is crazy time. Since Paul's going to be on vacation for the next two weeks after uh, starting like next Thursday, I'm going to miss the next two Saturdays and Sundays anyway after this weekend. I thought we would do two boxes on the mom and pop penny boxes and we would uh, that would get us caught up. So this Sunday... March 21st. Our first hunt will start at 10 a.m. like usual. As soon as that hunt is over, around 1 p.m., we will start our second hunt. It will be the hunt that was originally scheduled for 328. And then when I get back from vacation the first Sunday, we will do two boxes of mom and pop pennies again so that we get caught up. So, here is the schedule for the mom and pop penny boxes. I do plan to send an email out to all these people so that you know. 321 this Sunday, 10 a.m., Rob Wenzel batting, clean, or batting lead off. Then the penny hoarder, JC Likes Pam, MK Hunts Treasure, and Miss Johnny. Uh, when that hunt is over, immediately starting after around 1 p.m., we will do another hunt. Can Can Collectibles, Frank P., Netfiend, Penny Hoarder, and Treasure Hog. You will go next. We should be done around 4, um, maybe a little sooner, depending on how quick Hudson is doing these searches. And then on 4.11, the first Sunday that we are back from vacation, we will do two boxes again. In that hunt, the 10 a.m. hunt will be Penny, Her Penny Hoarder, Sir Benji, Matt Vandekreek, Avidkurt, and Woozy. Immediately following that hunt at 1 p.m. will be Avidkurt, Penny Hoarder, Bo Palmer, Dobbs, and Andrew Wiest. And then the 418 hunt is the last one we have scheduled right now. We will go back for normal 10 a.m. schedule. Penny Hoarder, Can Can Collectibles, Daniel and Shelly Lauren, and JC Likes Pam. So that is the upcoming schedule of penny box hunts and searchers. So, first off, what is a mom and pop penny box? Real simple. Customer rep rolls of pennies. A mom and pop are a couple that live on the West Coast whose granddaughter is a teller in a bank. Last year through their granddaughter, they heard about the coin shortage and they thought, you know, we can help with this. Our family's been collecting coins for generations, especially pennies. We've got five-gallon buckets of them in the garage and storage. We're going to start returning those to the bank, turning those in to help with the coin shortage, and they started doing that. Fortunately, we have a member that also banks at this bank and knows the granddaughter that heard about this. So he started buying these penny boxes when they came back into the bank. And he started searching them, and they had amazing finds in them. So he started sharing them with the coin hunting community. He shared those with several other YouTube streamers. And we uh, finally got a hold of a box, and uh, we opened it, and the finds were amazing. We contacted uh, this uh, subscriber that is a member of our channel, and uh, we made a deal that uh, we would exclusively take any penny boxes that came in, and we would buy them from him. And we have been doing so. It's very generous of him to even share them with us. And uh, Hudson and I started opening these. We had a ball. Um, our, uh, our viewers loved them. They wanted a piece of this. So we started doing donation boxes on Sunday mornings and uh, letting people uh, donate for uh, 10 rolls and uh, get some of these great finds. What do we find in these boxes? Well, you never know for sure. But historically, what we found in these boxes is a lot of wheat pennies. We find two to 300 wheat pennies on average. Uh, we find uh, steel pennies. We find foreign pennies. We found a Bahama penny last week. 
we find what we call blazers. Blazers are wheat pennies from the 1950s or coins from the 60s or 70s that are in such good shape, they look like the day they were minted. And uh, we call them blazers because they shine like the sun. Uh, very cool, very awesome to go into someone's uh, collection album. So, oh, we also find hmm, some things that you wouldn't normally find in a uh, penny box. We find dimes. We find taco money, Roosevelt dimes. We have found silver Roosevelt dimes. We have found silver mercury dimes. We have even found silver seated uh, Liberty dimes. Uh, I think back in the 1850s is our oldest one, which is crazy. And one time Hudson opened up our box and I don't know which roll it was, but one of the rolls and out popped a Dosi Medio Peso 1945 Mexican gold coin. We call him Mikey. Miguel Hidalgo y Castilla is his name. He is on the front of the coin, but we're on a first name basis. It was an awesome find. Thought it was a once in a lifetime. And then Baseman, our good friend, in a box battle with Hudson in a mom and pop box, Baseman 64 found one as well. So there have been two gold coins in here to go with the copper and the silver that we sometimes find. You never know what's going to come out of one of these mom and pop boxes. They are a lot of fun. There historically have been a lot of finds. So that's what we're opening, two of those on Sunday. Now I said this was the comment video, which means we're giving away prizes. We're using a random comment picker, the most random comment picker in the state of Arkansas to pick the winners based on you making a comment on this video and subscribing to our channel. You've got a chance to win. And this week, all the prizes will be the same. We'll be giving away a prize for the start of stream. And this is one of Paul's favorite coins. We do find the penny version of this in the boxes sometimes. 2009 are the special Lincoln pennies that have the special back. And this one is my favorite. It's the log cabin. But what I'm showing you is a special one ounce copper round of that 2009 penny with what has become known as Paul's Cabin on the back. We are giving away one of those for the start of stream, one of those for 50 likes, one of those for 100 likes, and one of those for end of stream. We also will have a contest that will start during the start of the stream where you all get to guess what the oldest coin we will find in the rolls that week will be. The person that guesses the closest, they also get a, a one ounce copper round with Paws Cabin on it. After the first box is done, we reset, we start over. We have prizes also for box two, start a stream. 50 likes, 100 likes, end of stream, and we will do closest guess a second time. What are those prizes? Yep, one ounce copper rounds, pause cabin. How fun is that? We're doing, we've never done two boxes in a day before, so uh, it may be overload, we'll see. Uh, we may change our mind on doing two boxes in the future. It may just be too much goodness in one day. I don't know. I don't know what it'll be. I know we're going to look at a lot of pennies. I know these are a lot of fun. But this Sunday, 10 a.m. and 1 p.m., we're hunting not one, not one, but two mom and pop penny boxes. I don't have any to show you right now because they're all still in their shipping containers over on my new organized shelves in the uh, coin compound downstairs. So, it's going to be a fun weekend. We have a silver jamboree on Saturday night with, we're giving away 20 silver prizes Saturday night, 5 p.m. We're having an auction. Paul's going to film the auction video next showing the uh, lots of the auctions and that will uh, be released tonight later so you know what those lots are we're starting an auction after the second box uh, is over in the uh, five box half dollar coin hunt 
We're going for 26 streams in a row of silver. And then after we survive Saturday and all that goodness and the silver jamboree, we're having us a dadgum copper jamboree. Double the fun. Two boxes on Sunday morning starting at 10. Second box at 1. I showed you the donators. I'm going to email them so they know. Come join us. It's a weekend of fun. Then Paul's going to the beach with Grammy. We're going to drink some Bahama Blazers. If we find another unique coin, Paul's going to drink those too. We'll just name all kinds of drinks. We're going to have some fun. We will see you this Saturday and Sunday when Paul has more spare time.